Ima Testa is a, a hugely decorated fighter. World Junior Champion, World Youth Champion, European Under 22 Champion, and then Senior Champion of her continent. An Olympic bronze medalist, and then a World Championship silver medalist earlier this year, using to Yu Ting Lin. In the final, you beat her opponent to drag him over in the semi final. So they've got that in common, these two. Didn't meet in Belgrade, but very nearly did. And now, bring out her opponent to the ring, fighting out of the black corner, representing Kazakhstan, it's Karina Ibrahimova. Karina Ibrahimova, a two-time world championship bronze medalist, most recently, as I mentioned, in 2022 in Istanbul in May. Beat Michaela Walsh of Ireland in the quarterfinals. That was a terrific win. And then lost to Yu Ting Lin. The other bronze coming in New Delhi in 2018. Last check, she'll check the gun shield, the gloves, the protector. Gentlemen, this bout is sanctioned by the IBA and the UA Boxing Association for five two-minute rounds in a female featherweight 57 kg division matchup. Your referee in charge of the action from Tunisia, referee Sarah Buklel. Your five judges representing you tonight ringside are from India, Estonia, Tun uh, Italy, and Kyrgyzstan. And when the action begins, your female referee in charge of the bell in the center of the ring, representing the IBA by way of Tunisia with referee Sarah Buhlel. And now, reintroducing first, fighting out of the cold corner. She stands 174 centimeters tall, weighing officially at 56.9 kgs. She is the current 2022 IBA Women's Silver Medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, Signore e signori, Foro Dattore, Annunziata, Dall'Italia, Erma Butterfly Testa! And now, introduce your opponent. Fighting out of the black corner, she stands 175 centimeters tall, weighing officially at 56.75 kgs. She is the current 2022 ASBC Asian Elite Women's Featherweight Division Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Khonimdar Min Mirzalar Kharsalinistal, Kazakhstan Nan, Karina Ibrahimova. Our fighters are ready. Referee Sahra Bulel will now be giving her final instructions to the boxers. Boxers, keep your heads up. No holding, no no blue. Listen to my comments. Check hands. Good luck. So a touch of gloves between the two and a wealth of hardware between these two. The medals that they've got, the pair of them. Well, a trophy cabinet would not be enough a room might not even be enough you might need a trophy wing to show them all off Ibrahim over also Asian champion so these two into the middle of the ring Tester of Italy in the white and gold in the orthodox stance Ibrahim over of Kazakhstan in the black and gold Southpaw just working that lead hand always likes to keep that on the move it serves as a distraction a lot of the time it just keeps your opponent occupied she does have a slight balance issue when she comes forward at times as you saw there she's got a a wide stance to brag him over gives her a solid base to to punch off but as she comes forward that 
back leg will generally tend to come around a bit, exactly as it does there. As she comes in, those feet can cross at times, and that base just vanishes completely. And what Tessa has got to do is adjust her own feet, tempt her to come in, and as she does come in, take that half step back like she did there and try and catch her on the way in because Ibragimova's balance, as I say, it goes over the top of that front foot. Her chin comes up a bit and she is there to be hit as she comes forward there, but she does commit to those attacks. So that's what we've got here, really, in terms of styles. Good jab there from Tester. Nice shape there from the Italian, just creeping in with that front foot. Then they brag him over again. There's the trigger, in she comes. And as she comes, Tester has just got to use those feet, step off. Maybe not straight back, just off and to the right, give herself a slight angle. Trying to double up on the jab, but was short with it. Then the Bragamova comes in. Nice jab there from Tester, just knocked the head back. These two minute rounds fly by us. So we discussed that because elite female amateurs do, of course, box three minute rounds. They box three minute rounds, but in the professional ranks, generally speaking, they box two minute rounds. They don't have to. The promoter can apply to the commission, the, the governing body in charge of the fight for three minute rounds, but generally it's two minute rounds. So in the pro series, they're going with two minute rounds. And there's the kind of clumsiness, if you like, of of Ibragimova at times. As I understand it, Iber are kind of... They're going with two minute rounds at a minute, but I think they're open to three minute rounds. I think personally, it would be a good kind of statement for them to make, to say, listen, our elite female amateurs box three minute rounds. In our pro series, you're going to box three minute rounds. I think it'll be a popular move. I enjoy the two minute rounds in, in pro boxing. It gives us something a bit different. The, the breakneck pace of it, the speed of it, it's given us some terrific entertainment. And I certainly don't want to see three minute rounds just because I want to see more stoppages. That's, that's not the point of it at all. But three minute rounds definitely do suit some fighters more than, more than others. And I think there are some fighters in the female pro ranks who are being penalized a bit by the two minute rounds. But as I say, they've given us some, some terrific entertainment. So it's an ongoing debate, but Iber are in charge of this competition, the Pro Series, and they will decide where they go with that. Left hand on the inside there, in the early stages, looked a bit, looked a bit low. And again, she comes in there. The right hand, the wide right hand, might just have got through there for we brag him over. But the interesting thing about her stylistically is that when she throws that jab, she is absolutely technique-wise on point. Steps in, flicks it up from the waist, really extends with it. But when she looks to throw the backhand, you just do not get what you expect to see. It's like fighting two completely different fighters. As she's set up for the jab, she is technically correct but then as she comes forward like that really she does everything wrong but it's effective it can be difficult to to cope with a tangle of the front feet there which you often see with an orthodox against a southpaw fighter that's why Tester went down there was no punch involved looking for the jab there Tester And she knows she's never going to have to wait long, Tester. That was decent. Got a couple of punches away, then stepped off to her left-hand side. Kind of caught Ibragim over as she was on her way past. And she knows... Good job there from Tester. She knows that if she just waits on the borderline of range there, just out of range, Ibragim over will come to her. And just shaping, just shaping there. That's exactly what I was talking about. She just shapes there in that hinterland if you like that no man's land then she knows that they brag him over she just won't be able to help herself she'll come forward a little bit untidy just a uh, good left hand there I thought was a bit low I think that was back at the start of the round 
And there's the clash of the front feet. The good thing if you're a tester is that against an opponent like this, you'll know Ibrahim over well, but against an awkward opponent, five rounds is better than three, I would say, because you've got more time to, to adjust. So into the third. Just short with the jab, jab there. They brag him over. Test it. Same thing. And she's just waiting, Test it. Leads off with a the hook there. She's waiting. And here comes the brag him over. Tester just gave the ground there. She's not quite as willing to commit. They brag him over and wander forward. There was a nice jab into the body there from the Kazakh. And as I say, she's got that in her locker. Good reach on it. She's a kind of fighter, as I say, with that, with that long lead hand. She could win fights using just that. Again, just pops that jab up from the waist and Tester's got to be respectful of it. She's got to look out for it. She just needs to keep throwing it to brag him over. Keep throwing it, keep throwing it. As her opponent, as I say, just, just shuffles in, slides in on her there, just keep throwing it. Tester looking for the left hand. Battle of the jabs more in the third round than we've seen so far. Just Pushing off with the forearm, with the heel of the glove there, and brag him over. That was, that was a bit crude. Tester with a smile on her face pretty much all of the time. Bell goes, and that was a tight round. Tight round, kind of interesting shift there stylistically a bit from Ibragimova. We didn't really see her try and throw that left hand too much so that that balance issue that she has when she does do that as she comes forward that wasn't quite so much in evidence and not that much landed in that round both of them just looking to try and find the jab more than anything else right hand there on the inside from Tester just dabs with a jab and gets through with a left so the cleaner work probably did come from her so three down two to go So into the fourth. Straight away, just trying to fire off that jab at Bragamo, but she's out of range for it at the minute. Tester just moving that upper body, keeping those shoulders rolling. Looks to try and get onto that jab. Again, it's, it's similar to the third round so far. Bragamo sets her feet that time, but managed to stay relatively side on lead hands just clashing there tester with those hands low both of them keep those hands low and look to really flick it up from the waist you can get good power it it bursts into an opponent's eye line making making it harder to pick up and a little wrestle on the inside a bragging over did commit Trying to throw that left. And as is always the way, round that back foot came and in she comes. Square. Left hand landed there. Through Bragim over. Straight 
swapping jabs there. Into the final 30 seconds of round four we go. Referee just having a quick word about heads. Not that much to choose between these two in, in the last two rounds, definitely. Jab to the body there from Ibragimova. One to go. In this very first female Ivor Pro Series bout. Emma yeah, Matesta staying on her feet in between rounds. Good jab. Nice short right hand there from Ibragimova. Matesta just showing her physical strength there. Ibragimova is awkward, really, really awkward. And she'll know that. You come across all kinds of styles in in elite amateur boxing but no matter what plan you might have to cope with it every night it's always just slightly different you're slightly different they're slightly different so you might feel like you know what you're going to do but it's it's another matter putting it into practice the referee just speaking to the pair of them about keeping their heads up so final round Left hand landing from Tester, the, the final one in that exchange looked to be the most accurate one. Bragham over comes forward there and that's where the heads might crack together and she does lose the balance and that's why she ends up on the floor and Tester, not warned exactly, but spoken to about helping her down towards the ground. That's a nice combination there from Testo, and that's exactly what I was talking about at the start of the fight. Just a little half step back, just backed up as Ibragimova came in and clips her with that with that one-two. I think she's doing enough here, the Italian, for me. I gave her the first couple. Rounds three and four were tighter, but I wouldn't say that she definitely didn't win either of them. You could probably have gone either way with both of them, so she could be... 4 nil up, it could be 2 apiece, it could be 3-1, but that's kind of how I'm seeing it. Reaching for that left hand there, Ibragham over, but Tester is out of range. Got caught with the right hand that time though, Tester. Heading towards the final 30 seconds. And again, Ibragham over with those long spidery arms just pushing down on the on the head there of Tester. So last 10 seconds right hand there just dabs through and Tester backing up just trying to throw off the back foot working to the body final few seconds. There's not been a great deal in any of these rounds, to be perfectly honest with you, so we'll have to see which way the, the judges go with it. For me, it's the gold corner. Bit messy, but a clash of styles. You often get that. There was quite a lot of that. And there's a good example of how when she throws that left hand cheek, she comes in square. The head is a little bit low at times. And what she's trying to do there, Tester, is, is time her on the way in. She did it beautifully at one point in that, in that round. But it's hard. It's a tricky thing to do. And these two will be called to the centre of the ring shortly. As I said, both medalling at the World Championships earlier this year, both beaten by the same 
opponent, the eventual gold medalist in Yu Ting Lin. Gentlemen, this highly anticipated female featherweight matchup comes to a close after completing five two minute rounds in a female featherweight 57 kg division. However, before we go to the scorecards, we'd like to kindly invite our special and VIP guests. Please help me welcome legendary former 2007 and 2009 super heavyweight Italian world amateur boxing champion Roberto Camarelli. Great fighter, Roberto Camarelli. He was an Olympic champion as well. Finalist in London against Anthony Joshua. That was a very, very close call for the two-time world amateur champion. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this battle comes to a close after coming five two-minute rounds in a female featherweight 57 kg division matchup. We go to the scorecards where all your judges see it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision to the goal corner, fuori dal torre, annunciata dall'Italia, Erma Borfantesta. So Irma Testa gets it by unanimous decision over the course of those five two-minute rounds. And she is the first female winner in this new IBA Pro Series as the belt goes round her waist. for some photos. Next up we've got the men's middleweight division. Uzbekistan against Cuba. 